The need for faster, cheaper, and more reliable internet access is growing across Nigeria in geometric proportion. MTN launched their 5G in Nigeria in the third quarter of 2022, and Starlink launched Starlink Satellite in Nigeria in January 2023. However, many people are unsure which network to choose. In today's Tech Insight, I'm going to show you seven things that you must know before choosing your main network provider. If you're ready, come with me. Let's go check it out. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depart, and I'm so excited to have you on today. Before you jump into MTN 5G network because of the breathtaking speed, or use your house rent to order Elon Musk's Starlink satellite, here are seven things that you must know before choosing your main data network. Make sure you watch this video till the end because I have a special bonus for you. Let's start with round one strong network coverage. Starlink beats MTN hands down here as it has low space satellites about 5,000 kilometers above sea level covering every space in Nigeria. Also note that strong coverage is a weak point for 5G because of poor penetration inside buildings. So you got to keep that in mind. So based on this, I'm going to give this round to Starlink. Round two, <laughs> network speeds. MTN 5G reaps Starlink apart in this part because you could get up to 10 times the speed of Starlink on MTN 5G, but that doesn't tell the whole story as you will soon see in this video. The upload speed of the Starlink network is the biggest shortcoming. If you ever intend to upload a lot of content to the internet or social media, do not go for Starlink in this case because you will probably regret it because of the poor upload speeds. If you do more of downloads, you know, Netflix and chill, and I think Starlink is still a great option for you, but for this round, I'm just going to give it to MTN 5G. Round three, weather conditions. Smaller satellite dishes mainly transmits with KU band and just like the DSTV dish, Starlink signals will drop drastically when there is heavy rain or strong rain clouds. Although Starlink uses KU and K bands for their satellites, both signals and bands are susceptible to rain fade during heavy downpour. So keep this in mind if you are trying to get Starlink. If you live in a city where it rains frequently and heavy, do not go for Starlink because you probably, you know, go through a lot of frustration when it rains heavily. So with that, I still think that MTN 5G wins this round. Round four, mobility. Although Starlink can be installed anywhere in Nigeria and get strong coverage, once you have locked your signal in a particular location, there is a 15 mile reduced geofencing on the residential plan. <laughs> and that is the only thing we have in Nigeria. Although Starlink has other plans like uh, the business, roaming, uh, aviation, and maritime, uh, these plans are more expensive and have you know larger bandwidth than the residential plan. Uh, but these plans are not yet available in Nigeria yet, so we are stuck with the residential plan for now. Also note that you can actually pay extra $25 a month to unlock the geofencing if you are the type that move a satellite from one place to the other. You may already know that Starlink has to be plugged to AC power and that in itself hurts mobility. So with that, I'm still gonna give this round to MTN 5G. Round five, shared network, let and see, stability and peak hours performance. If you watched up to this point, a sub to the channel will be satisfying. Yeah. So click on that subscribe button right now and turn on the notification bell icon to get videos like this when I upload them. So back to round five. Both MTN and Starlink satellite have similar latency, so this will not be a deal breaker even for 
gamers but both are shared networks so there's not going to be any guaranteed 99 percent of your bandwidth at all times the more the people are using the network the slower it will become however starlink can give you better guaranteed bandwidth availability even during peak hours because of the uh, less number of users in nigeria and stronger capacity unfortunately my experience is in mtm 5g during peak hours uh, the bandwidth can drop to like 50 to 70 percent and uh, because of that i'm going to give this round to starlink for more stability and better performance during peak hours round six we're going to talk about cost and value mtn 5g router goes for about 50,000 naira and <laughs> that is 10 times cheaper than you ordering for starlink kit you can even enjoy mtn 5g if you already have a 5g phone on the other hand <laughs> starlink is unlimited I don't know whether you know what that means. Thanks to Fisayo, his latest Starlink video, he now confirmed that there is no one terabyte data cap, at least for now, on Starlink usage in Nigeria. And that is a very big value. And yes, there is something special, something liberating about using unlimited data. <laughs> you can do so much more. So if we consider that, you know, little or average data users can get more value from MTN 5G, but high data users or power users can get more value from Starlink Unlimited Satellite, then I'm going to call this a tie. Let me know in the comment section if you think otherwise. Round 7. Customer Service and Support. Well, I still believe that MTN Nigeria customer service and support is kind of garbage. Yeah, I said it. But when you compare it to Starlink Nigerian support, well, Starlink Nigerian support is like non-existent. A Nigerian tech content creator, Oscar, had this to say about his experience with Starlink support in Nigeria. Now, the thing is, these guys don't want you contacting them. That's the reason you wouldn't find a direct link to creating a support um, ticket on their website. So, so I opened a new ticket and sent them the details of my, you know, my predicament here and... It's been over 24 hours and no one has responded, replied or said anything to me. It's been about 10 days now since I sent them emails, um, tagged them on Twitter and all that, but haven't still gotten a response up till this moment of recording this video right here. If you intend to use any network for longer period, you must consider customer service and support. So because of that, in this round, I'm going to give it to MTN Nigeria. So in conclusion, MTN won for Starlink 1-2 and one round was a tie, but <laughs> there is no winner or loser in this contest. It still depends on your network preferences. Since you watched up to this point, here is my special bonus I talked about at the beginning of the video. If you really want to be effective and consistent in delivering your work through the internet, then you cannot use one data plan in Nigeria. You have to choose a main network that serves most of your data needs and then a backup network. So to cap it up, if you use high volume of data, especially in downloads, I think it's still a great option to consider Starlink, especially if you don't have consistent or heavy rainfall in your location. Else, you can consider a good local wireless or fiber service in place of that Starlink. If you're an average data user and you need faster speeds for uploads and then you also want to get the best value for your money, I think you can consider MTN 5G uh, as your main data and then maybe find something else as your backup. Do like and share if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to click on that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell icon to get notified when I do a new video like this. And until I see you in the next one, peace. Radical.